Hello and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. In this video we'll learn how to make your photo much better with six very simple steps. Most of them are based on the same idea so even if you don't know Photoshop at all but you have the program it'll be really easy for you to follow along. In this tutorial we'll use my photo taken in Jerusalem and turn it into a very nice photo that could be used as a Facebook profile picture or whatever I might need it for. So let's start. So the first thing I like to do is crop the picture in an HD format, which is 16 by 9, using the crop tool. The reason I do that is it gives it a more of a cinematic look. You don't have to do that if your picture needs to be like a square, but if it's not, I like doing that. It kind of gives it like a film look. So right about here is good. Now. Step two is really easy. It's a really fun tool to use uh, if you don't know about it. It's called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And basically what it does, it gets rid of small zits or spots that you don't want. So like say for example, if I wanted to get rid of this little thing here, I would just press on it and it's gone. This little thing, it's gone. You can also get rid of like bright spots like on my nose here. See how it looks a lot better. Step three is kind of playing with the brightness and the exposure. You see I have a lot of like dark areas beneath my eyes. So there's a really easy way of doing this and that's creating an adjustment layer. So let's create an exposure adjustment layer and really brighten up the, the gamma. Okay, you see I'm doing it on the entire picture, but we'll we'll fix it later. So let, let's say we're happy with the amount of brightness my eyes are right now. So what I do is apply a mask on the layer. To do that, you just press the mask layer and you invert it. Because right now the mask is saying, apply that filter on everything. So if we press Command I, that will invert it to black and now the filter doesn't apply on anything. So what we do is take our brush make sure it's on white and we can actually paint the areas we want to be brighter so maybe you know take down the opacity a little bit make the brush a little smaller and just paint the areas you want to be seen a little brighter maybe here maybe my hair If it's too much, you just switch back to black and dial it back a little bit, give it a nice contrast. Now you can see how it looked before and after. I think it looks a little, a little nicer. Now let's do the same with Vibrance. Add another adjustment layer called Vibrance. Kind of make everything more saturated. You see it's very colorful and apply a mask, invert it, and start painting it in. Maybe we can increase the opacity for this. That might be a bit too much, maybe like 70%. See, I'm giving myself a little color. I think it's nice. Now in step four, we're gonna take care of the background. Right now, everything is kind of in focus and the colors are kind of the same. So I'll show you a nice trick. We duplicate the background, put it on top, and really blur it out. I'm, I like to use lens blur. All right, blur it up good. And do the same thing with the mask. Apply the mask, invert it, and start painting over the background. Let's do like 70%. Start painting the focus. So you're actually cheating depth of field. And you'll see how nice it looks. So you're getting kind of like a high quality feel to a photo that otherwise was very simple. All right, let's see how it was before. A lot nicer, I think. Also, you might wanna 
dial the color back a little bit for the background. So let's add another vibrance layer, take it way back, mask it, invert it, and paint over the background. Maybe not so much. That way we're taking the focus off the background and making me stand out before, after. In step five, we're gonna add a vignette, which is really, really easy to do using the same method we've used so far. Just add another adjustment layer. We're gonna use curves, take down the brightness, mask it, invert it, and start painting. But this time we're just gonna paint like a circle around me. Kind of darkening the corners and around around me. This focuses the viewers on your object, which in this case is my face. All right, the last step is adding another curve layer just to play with the colors of the whole picture. So we can add a little contrast and we can go into each color and kind of play with the curves there. There's a few ways that I like to do it that kind of always works. Um, take the red a little down, increase the blue, kind of gives it a film look and that's it. And if you're not completely happy with the curves, you can always add another adjustment layer, add another mask, invert, and painting the curves. Before, after. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something you want me to make a tutorial about, you're welcome to leave a comment below.